Okay, so first of all, what I would say is to always remember what is paramount. And what is paramount that it is that at the heart of a school is excellent and high quality teaching and learning. No matter where I have been on my own journey, I think that um, I always ensure that I strive to be the best that I could possibly be. Um, and that my teaching and learning is the best that it could possibly be for the learners in front of me. I think that involves constantly learning, you know, no matter where I have been, I think to be that highly effective um, leader, whether that's within your classroom or sharing your expertise, you need to role model. You need to walk the walk and not just talk the talk. So what that means is I do a lot of deliberate practice within my own classroom. I take risks. I trial new strategies. Um, and then I constantly evaluate the impact of them, reflect on them. What have I learned from it before I share that with others? And I think that's really important because if you share anything with others, you need to have done it yourself. Um, what I would also say is that I am constantly there for changing and adapting my own teaching. I'm not stagnant. I'm constantly growing, constantly researching, looking at what's out there. And a key part of that is taking on board others' advice. And that can be from anybody within the school, right the way from in your department, but right the way down to ITTs, NQTs, because they often bring in new styles, new strategies. And then I take that, practice that before sharing it with others. What about the external environment? Is it important to network and have professional conversations with other professionals? And how have you done this? Definitely very important. I'm very, very outward looking. I like to magpie from anywhere that I go and networking is a key part of that. So in terms of my own professional learning and um, my own network, um, I think first of all, as a lead network school, so I became a lead network school for history for the AS. And there it wasn't just me sharing my expertise, but also me gaining an awful lot of expertise from others and then sharing that within my own environment. Um, in Cardiff Met, um, I did an awful lot of networking there. I took on the role of the MPEP for the school and the lead inquirer. And again, that was really important in terms of research, innovation, and then sharing that within in our own school environment. Um, NQTs, I uh, took on the role of becoming an external verifier. Again, I learned an awful lot from that, from NQTs, but also from the schools that I visited. Um, and again, that helped develop so many skills within myself and my area of leadership. Um, oh, what am I missing? I think I've just about covered everything there, but yeah, whatever I can network, oh, that's what else I was going to say in terms of the new curriculum. I went along to lots of things nationally, regionally. And what I would say there is any opportunity that comes my way, I grab. I take hold of those opportunities and see it as a way to help myself to grow and to develop in whatever area that is. Okay, hey, and what about your next steps in developing your expertise in order to share with others? So I've just become a newly appointed assistant head teacher and that's something that I've been striving for. Before becoming an assistant um, head teacher, I took on the role of an associate assistant head teacher with an area of lead and exceed within my own school. That has massively helped me in developing that wider school picture and Whereas before I was very used to working within a department and leading a very effective department, it then took me to that next level. And I, again, it's just all about that growing, that developing. Um, I took part in the Inspirational Leaders programme, which I successfully completed with EAS. And now I uh, have just begun my journey on the National Senior Leaders Programme, which again is a programme that's helping to develop my leadership skills and my qualities. So once again, exactly the same as I said with networking, I ensure that I grab hold of any opportunities that are presented to me um, because I think they're very, very important in number one and primarily gaining experience before I take on that next level and help myself develop and grow professionally. Thanks, Joe. Thank you for sharing your journey so far.